This is a golden garden spider, sometimes called a golden archaeope, or black and yellow garden spider, or a signature or zigzag spider because it's stabilium, that little zigzag shape you see right below her legs, uh, which they put in the web. Some people think it's a warning to help um, you know, larger predators see the web so they don't bump it to destroy it. Other people say it actually attracts certain food, including their favorite food, which are grasshoppers and, uh, grasshoppers and katydids. In fact, I can see some wrapped up meals in her web already and what you're hearing in the background a little sprinkler water sprinkler sound or answer actually handsome meadow kitty did which is probably one of its favorite foods around here this is a female females are much larger than the males maybe up to 10 times larger and uh, the and are much bigger bodied as well um, the male usually is stationed somewhere in the web itself so they can mate with her uh, looking around i don't see a male that's claimed this particular web yet um, they live almost, uh, I'm, I'm going to call it parasitically, I mean almost, they'll feed off whatever she catches on the web. And this one's had lots of luck, you can see the stuff wrapped up in her web already. This is one of our largest spiders, they only live for about a year. And uh, again, they usually are, are down low and, uh, and catch whatever food they can, they can possibly get. Um, uh, especially, as I mentioned, grasshoppers and spiders, but this one seems to have had, because it's, it's near a bunch of flowers and so forth, seems to have caught a bunch of yellow jackets and honeybees as well. Uh, this is, again, golden garden spider, something called signature or zigzag spider, one of our largest resident spiders, usually lays down low, and uh, a beautiful uh, a beautiful spider that is, uh, that's usually fairly common. And that's a typical pose for it. They hang upside down, uh, head down, I should say, with their uh, legs spread out, um, paired together. And, uh, and again, um, a beautiful spider that we have this time of year, the golden garden spider or golden archaeopi spider. Their webs can be up to three feet long. This one's actually a fairly small web. Golden Garden Spider. I don't think I can show you the other side, but I'll try to get around her web so that you can get a look at the other side of the web. She's a lot plainer looking on this side. She's probably going to start shaking her web really quick soon, too. If she thinks something's going to harm or destroy her web, what they do is so that you can see the web, they'll actually shake it back and forth. And that way you can either see her or her web and hopefully won't either damage her or the web itself. I want to see if I can blow on it. Nah, she's not. Doesn't seem perturbed by me. Golden Garden Spider.